Sister Ji Chen, the class leader of Prajna class, has a younger brother named Xu Quan Chen, who, if alive, would be 48 years old. It happened three years ago. The sister said that her brother and sister-in-law have no good roots at all. When she asked them to recite the Buddha's name, they wouldn't even utter a sound. The siblings are arguably not like-minded. However, Quiakin was not healthy at all and often suffered from stomach pain. When he became seriously ill, he went to a hospital and was diagnosed with terminal gastric cancer. If he didn't have surgery soon, he would surely die soon. On the day when he was to have surgery, Sister G persuaded her younger brother to recite the holy name of Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva, Guanxi and Pusa. Also told him about the various things that had said in the Universal Gate chapter about Avalokitesvara seeking the voice and saving the suffering, and advised him to pray for the Bodhisattva's blessing to save him from suffering and turn his miserable life into peace. Sister G said that the night Quiakin's surgery was completed, she was sitting beside her brother at midnight, chanting Avalokitesvara for him. Then her brother, who was in a state of seeming awakening and dreaming, said aloud to himself, Guanxi and Pusa, thank you for taking more than ten feet of intestines to replace the bad ones for me. Sister G and his wife heard it very clearly, and when he woke up, he said, Sister. I saw Guanxi and Pusa, dressed in white, she took a very long intestine and pulled open my belly to replace the bad one. Then I thanked Pusa for the immediate refreshment. Since the surgery, everything has gone smoothly and safely, and he was able to walk in a week. The doctor was also pleased to say, this patient is recovering quickly and will be discharged in three weeks. Many relatives and friends came to bless him and were overjoyed for him to have such a speedy recovery. There was originally nothing in the world. However, common people bother themselves. When he was about to be discharged from the hospital in about three days, another patient, living in the hospital, said to his wife, Your husband needs nutrition, so you should go to the market and buy live fish and give your husband a ginger stew for nourishment. When Sister G heard this, she quickly interrupted and responded. No. He was given a new intestines by Guanxinian Pusa, unlike others. We should never kill a live creature to feed him again. To supplement nutrition, there are many types, such as milk powder, soybean, angelica sinensis, ginseng, etc., those are all nutritious foods. Sister G said a lot, but good advice may sound harsh to the ears, and her sister-in-law didn't seem too pleased with her words. However, her sister-in-law was still afraid of her a bit, and she dared not to buy live fish during the few days G was in the hospital. When she went home to take a bath, she immediately went to the market and bought a few live catfish and carp to cook for her husband. When G came back, her younger brother had already eaten a big bowl. Hence, things got awful. It's possible to avoid natural disasters, but you cannot escape the self-inflicted sins. His brother ate the bowl of fish, which was so powerful as if he had eaten pesticides. The pain in his stomach started to get worse and the stitches that were originally a foot long from the surgery were closed properly. A few hours later, a weird thing began. All the stitches in his abdomen were torn apart. Sister G said, she was very frightened when seeing it with her own eyes, his belly opened like the shape of a canoe. His body suddenly deteriorated, and his life was at stake. Even doctors were at their wit's end. G thought to herself, I am sorry for the compassionate blessing of Guanxinian Pusa, and I dare not ask for more, so I will change the holy name and chant Kashita Garbha Bodhisattva. Hoping that Kashita Garbha would bless her brother and restore his health, she remained by his side and chanted the holy name of Kashita Garbha. It is really incredible, Quiakin was in a state of unconsciousness and again saw the realm, his face suddenly smiled murmuring something that no one else knew about. Suddenly he said loudly, Kashita Garbha. You took me to play for a long time. It was very hard. The iron stick in your hand is very heavy. Let me carry it for you. Don't be polite. Let me carry it for you. His wife asked, What did you say, 
Quiagan? He replied, Kashida Garbha wants to take me to a good place to play. I am having fun. That night, while she was still chanting the holy name of Kashida Garbha beside her brother, her family suddenly came to call her home for an emergency. The next morning, Quiagan suddenly said to his daughter, I am very grateful to Auntie, but now I have to leave her. I am going to Auntie's house to say thanks, go call the cab. After saying that, he breathed his last. It is a pity that at the age of 45, his entire life was over. At the end of his life, the sister of good knowledge had no chance to help him recite the Buddha's name and he could be reborn with his karma. Sister Chenji, speaking to me at this point, said with great emotion. Guan Shi and Pusa had replaced intestines for him, and his body had recovered safely. Unfortunately, how come he met the patient who taught him to eat live fish and lost his life? I explained to her, those who without good roots do not believe in Buddhism and do not recite the Buddha are subject to karma and cannot hold on. Since your brother and sister-in-law have no good seeds, Guan Shi and Pusa has changed his intestines because of your blessings. This is the inspiration that you have chanted for him in your heart. But the fields of eight consciousnesses of the two of them are still full of sinful and obscuring karma. Because they don't even recite a word of the Buddhas or Bodhisattvas holy names in daily life. Once the life is over, when the seeds of evil karma grow, the reincarnation will appear, and they will go instantly without delay. In the end, your brother was able to make a good affinity with Kishida Garbha which was also the inspiration for you to chant the holy name and beg Bodhisattva to save him. But you had to go home that night, and that was his obstacle. If there is no condition to continue the chanting, the cause and effect will be cut off, so how can you help him to be reborn in the West? But it is a great blessing among misfortunes to be carried by Kishida Garbha Bodhisattva.